In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a test of indirect effects using just another stats program. Uh, so first, we'll need to get some data into the program. So you click on this nifty little button here and click open and find the file that you want to open. I'm going to open a file called mediationexample.save. It's actually a SPSS file, but just another stats program. Apparently, you can open SPSS files. I had assumed that you had to turn it into a comma-separated values file, but that was not the case. All right, so then next, since we're testing indirect effects, we need to select the SEM structural equation modeling option. So then we'll now have a drop down menu at the top for that. And so we're not going to get into structural equation modeling. Instead, we're going to do a mediation analysis, which is basically um, a path analysis where we're going to specify for this example one predictor which will be political efficacy one mediator which will be political aversion which is actually coded in the opposite direction of aversion and the outcome variable political engagement so interesting thing about JASP is it basically does the analysis on the fly and puts it in some fairly presentable tables on the fly. Uh, we're going to change some of the options, however. Uh, so we're going to ask for the R squared values. We're going, instead of to just do the analysis the straight with the straightforward estimates, we're going to ask that it does uh, bootstrap estimates. We'll leave it at the default, uh, which is the bias corrected percentile bootstrap, but it's going to take a little while to do those analyses, uh, the resamples, a thousand times. And another nice little feature is it will actually create the figure for you so you can see the results of uh, the analysis visually, at least some parts of it, the, the paths within the model. So, yeah, JASP is a little bit slower than other programs for doing the bootstrapping. So you'll have to uh, take a little rest while it computes it. It usually takes a, a minute or two to do that. All right, so a minute or two later, we have our results. I'm going to click on this little arrow here to hide the input options, and we can look at our results. So we have the direct effect, which is the effect of the x variable on the y variable after controlling for the mediating variable. And we see that that is not quite statistically significant, which actually is somewhat of a good thing because it's saying that when we include the mediator, the assumed relationship between these two variables uh, becomes non-significant, and we see that the uh, confidence interval from the bootstrap estimates uh, is ever so slightly actually ever so slightly above zero, but it's practically zero. And then we have the indirect effect, which is probably what we're most interested in if we're conducting a mediation analysis. And we see that the confidence interval for that excludes zero. So we have at least a, a small indirect effect here. And also, uh, conducts a significance test of the indirect effect, and the p-value for that is quite low. So we can conclude that there is an indirect effect here. And we also have the total effect, which is just basically, in this analysis, the effect of our x on our y variable, ignoring the mediator. And we see that there was, before we put in the mediator, there was, in fact, a significant 
effect, or at least it excluded zero, we can reject a null uh, for that relationship. I also requested f the R squared value so we could get the R squared value for the model where the political engagement is the criterion and the R squared value for when political aversion is the criterion. So here we're predicting about 16% of the variance and in aversion just using a political efficacy we were, we were predicting 17 or 18 percent of that now these values are a little bit different from what we would get if we used an ordinary least squares approach because JASP uses the f a different estimation procedure called full information maximum likelihood estimation but there most of them are fairly similar to what we would get in, with OLS estimation if we had used uh, SPSS to do this with the Hayes macro. And then here we have the figure that I requested, which gives us uh, the various paths. So that's the direct effect, which we saw was not significant. Here we have the A path, and we have the B path, and the direct effect would be the C prime path uh, in, in a mediation analysis. So JASP is pretty effective in doing a quick mediation analysis and also for presenting the results in a way which are fairly easy to understand. Uh, another thing is that if you wanted to, you can make a much more complex model by including multiple predictors, multiple mediators, and even multiple outcome variables. So it is a bit more flexible than um, than the uh, ordinary approach that we would take using OLS uh, regression in SPSS. All right, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.